Okay, this is regular division, this is what it looks like. This is scaffold division, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it. Um, what you're going to end up starting to do is that some people have a hard time figuring out what these numbers are and how to divide correctly. So we're going to take 12 and try to figure out how many 12s will go into 435. Basically, you're going to do a two-digit, and we're going to go, and we're going to say that 12 can go into 435 times 20. So off to the side, you can go 12 times 20, and that's 240. Obviously, it does subtract, so we're going to do minus 240. Now, we have to regroup because we can't take 3 from 4, so I'm going to take away 1 tens from 4, add it to the 3, and that's going to give me 95. But I'm going to put 20 up here because that's what I multiplied by 20. And then 3 minus 2 is 1, that's 195. Well, obviously, 12 is not going to go 20 more times into 195, but I know it will at least go 10. So I'm going to put 10 up here, multiply 12 times 10, off to the side, and that's 120. Now I'm going to subtract, and that's going to give me 75. Well, how many times can 12 go into 75 times? It's not going to go in evenly. I'm going to say 12 is going to go into 75 six times. So over here, 12 times 6, that's 72. I'm going to add my 6 up there. I'm going to subtract down here, and it gives me 3. I have a remainder of 3. I cannot take 12 and put 3 in there anymore. But the reason why it's called scaffold division is that you're guessing and you're going to end up adding all these up together, and this is going to be 36. Remember, you have a remainder here, which is 36 remainder 3. It's the same as this, but the fact is, is it takes off some of the pressure of guessing and multiplying. You just take larger numbers, and you can get to the answer faster. Thank you.